What's going on guys? So today on this extra Shoki review, we're going to take a look at some more P Bandai IBO kits. And this time it is the two pack of the Grey's Shield and the Grey's Iron Rod Fleet set. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Iron Rod Fleet set which would have made way more sense to have this in here. Now, because this is a P-Bandai box, we're not going to do the entire box review, but we'll look at the really cool box art. So right here you get the Grey's Shield, or Shield, as it would be. And you see right here, right, why it's called the Shield, right? It's a big shield. And, of course, over here you get something I don't understand. Because in all the promo images, the Iron Rod Fleet... Grays doesn't look like this. This is the Grays Kai shoulder, so at least the Grays Kai one as we know it. And I don't get why they did it this way. So what we're going to look at is kind of both, so to speak. This is the only real new thing we've kind of got to work with. This is mostly just a darker color green Grays. No big deal. And of course, you got the IBO logo there. You got Gray's Shield, Iron Fleet Suit there. You got Bandai 2018 there. And then just your normal P Bandai box goodness. This is a double thick box, just like all these sets have been. You get all the nice text right there. That's a lot of wording. And you got 3,000 yen right there, which we all know that's not how much it cost. I believe this set was uh, 60 or 65, somewhere there, at American retail level. Of course, no box art stuff there, but you do get your obligatory warnings right there that a shield grace will hurt your three-year-old, so don't stick it in the face. And, of course, <laughs> green box still upside down, so let's just go ahead and check out these new grazes, because if there's one thing this channel doesn't have enough of, it's grazes. All right, so here we have the Grey's 2-pack out here, and you've got the Grey's Shield right here, and you've got the Grey's Ariane Rod set, or Ariane Rod Fleet version there. And honestly, it's just another Grey's. <laughs> this, this set annoys me only because it, you're essentially only getting one new thing, or, well, two, three, you know, the Shield here, the Halbert here, or Long Spear Axe thingy, and the new faceplate for this graze is the only new stuff. Everything else is basically just a standard graze. Now, just real quick, we'll set this guy aside and look at this one, just because it's a normal one. Not going to bother with articulation or anything, and you can see that it is definitely that new type of green. You get the same weapons. Now, what you do get, at least over here, is the shield from the... Uh, uh, Grace Kai, and you do get these stickers that do engulf the whole thing. Looks okay. It could be a little bit better. And one thing I'm learning with these like really wrap around stickers, you've got to pay attention to how you wrap the corners because sometimes they're developed to where if you've got a corner hanging out, that's meant to go under the other side. So I mean, it is what it is compared to the original Grace Kai. This one I went ahead. I just made it a commander just because. No real reason for it, and because these are meant for a little slightly more terrestrial thing. We've got the little butt thrusters, things that kind of left off of one of the other grazes I've done recently, but I did them on this guy, and of course that one over there, but nothing super special. Now this one is the one that you can change up slightly, so you can in fact go ahead and grab the shoulders off of him. And slap on these. So these would be the Gray's Kai shoulders. No big deal. Honestly, don't understand why these came with this because uh, this, I, as far as I know, you know, and I always get in trouble when I say those words. As far as I know, this was not something that the Iron Rod Fleet had. This was all Gray's Kai, like nothing specific. And this one just it does not want to fit over the shoulder. There we go. Got to spread it out just a little bit. They clip in and now you've got one with big shoulders and big bazooka on the shoulder. And yeah, I mean, 
It, it's not a thing. It really isn't. This this was not something that Gellhorn had at their disposal, as far as I can know, as far as I've ever seen. This is just a Gray's Kai situation. I mean, it looks cool. I like the big, like, football shoulders. In fact, this would make a fun custom if you wanted to do something like, especially with this coming up over the shoulder, if you want to do a... Uh, like a war machine custom grays that would be pretty cool so you can have this a couple different ways of course you can have this as a normal gray's head no big deal kind of wish it came with the gray's kai face but then you just have another gray's kai that's green you also can use the standard gray's axe there and then you have leftover shoulders at this point i have so many leftover gray's parts it's kind of ridiculous so now we've got the shield grays and of course the new weapons are pretty obvious you've got the halberth here which just i wish they had given it a flat spot to hold the fact that a solid round doesn't just fit snugly in the hand is annoying now one thing you can obviously do is paint all the edges of the blades with a little bit of silver or white whatever you want to do i just didn't do it probably well down the line my uh, silver marker has been giving me a little bit of trouble lately but this is actually a neat little weapon of course i like the fact it is just one big piece and compared to the standard gray's axe i mean it's it's basically just an axe with a spear on the end of it and a much longer handle so that is what it is i knew that i knew that was going to happen something about these grays is just they don't want to stand up anymore I'm going to leave that one, like, falling over, just because. Now, of course, the main big thing you get here is the shield. One ginormous shield here. It is just three pieces. The front, the inside, and the handle part. I guess technically it's four pieces. And you have to put on all these stickers. And very much like the um, regionally it's Julia with a new uh, upgraded shield, you do have... You, you know, you place the stickers here, you place the stickers there, and they actually work fairly well. I only have a couple places where it gets a little wonky, and that's right up here with this corner, and that's where I was talking about making sure you layer it properly so that it hides the corners. I missed that one, so it's always going to be a little bit wonky. Probably use like a tiny bit of glue or something else to hold it down, or just ignore it altogether. But I like the look, I like the big thing there. And we did see these show up in one of the final episodes going into the final battle. And, yeah, I like the big red stripe on the helmet. That always looks pretty cool. Of course, it matches the shield. Now, the one big thing about this that's different is this new faceplate. Very much like a knight or a football player. And it's really hard to see in there with the way my lights are. Which you think that would be a hair bit better. Let's see here. Can I zoom in? Really get in there. So... This is, of course, that grayish-brown color here, and it does come with an all-new little bit right inside there. So this is actually two different pieces. You can pull this off, come straight off, and you can see the new eye right there. That sticker barely fits properly, so it is what it is. I like the look of it. I think it looks pretty cool. looks a little bit sporty. And it does one thing to really change up the look of the grays. Like, you just notice. You can really just see the difference. And whether that has any kind of, you know, actual operations effectiveness. Oh, I'm getting tired of that. Come on. Thank you. Sometimes the screen doesn't want to zoom out properly. But with the new new spear axe, as it were. Spear axe. Sounds like a Marvel villain. Um, I'm having a little bit more trouble with these wrist connectors like they just they're a little bit loose i'm guessing it's just, we're just seeing a little bit of mold degradation at this point but you know it is what it is i might actually at some point try to mold in a square part onto this handle because otherwise it just that's really really annoying like because you can stand here with a slight angle on it looking very stoic but that's about it I mean, that's just, <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, so we need some comparisons now, so may as well bring in the big mama. 
the region layers Julia, which I wasn't paying attention to my framing there. And you can see way, way taller, of course, than she should be. Well, actually, from my point of view, but here it's not. And they are the same color. I think that's what somebody was trying to comment at one point, and it made no sense. But yes, they these are the same green as her and as the regular region lays. So that's kind of a Ariane Rod thing. That's, of course, why this guy is this green. But I need to go ahead and bring in even more grazes. Since we're going to look at all the P Bandai stuff that has come recently. So there's a ground type graze. Here's the other ground type graze. I guess I can pull the camera back a little bit. Here's the idiot's graze. So basically, what he ended up doing, this is the one he brought into the battle before it got wrecked. And then he ends up subbing it out for one of these. Not the fancy shouldered one, but. You know what you know what I'm trying to say and then just to mix it up with a completely different type of graze you got a McGillis graze Ritter so you can really they are just multicolored dominoes at this point and anybody who wants to make the Power Rangers graze joke totally can because you know they come in all flavors at this point like I'm gonna take a picture not this review but in another one sometime soon because of course we still have more grazes coming to literally like set up every type of graze out here all at once. I think that'd be quite amusing. But that's going to be it for this review of the silly little pea band I set. Um, if you need it, if you're a completionist like I and uh, Super Droid are, you kind of have to get these. And it, the, the customization on this guy is just kind of up to you. Whichever way you want to do it. Whether you want to go with this shield, whether you want to go with those shoulders, you want to go with one of those shoulders and one of these shoulders, whatever. I kind of wish it had more Grey's Kai involvement there. And I will pull out the Grey's Kai, but it's part of the ridiculous uh, set that I've got in my display and that is very, very hard to remove things from. <laughs> well, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe -ish button down there. Because we're growing ever so quickly towards 3,000, which is awesome. And, of course, if you want to help support the channel in another way, you can totally hit this right here at patreon.com slash reviews and go over there and check out the thing. And for 5 bucks a month, you can just help support the channel and see videos like this one early. But if you just want to get a Shoki shirt and help kind of show support that way, both in advertising of the channel that you'd like to actually watch and also just sending me a little bit of money, you got all the Shoki shirts right here. Links are in the description down below to go buy those things. They're fairly cheap. And uh, very, very comfortable, in my opinion. But guys, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. Remember to come back next time. And as always, keep on building.